Good morning friends, welcome to your Sunday Relax and Reset class. My name is Nadine and uh, as always we have a, um, a lovely class ahead of us. We're going to start with a little bit of a longer meditation today um, and then move into a class that focuses a lot on uh, our hip area, hip and lower limb area. So often in r and we spend a lot of time working on the upper body, um, so today I thought we'd give the lower half of our body a little bit of attention. So have two sturdy chairs nearby, some extra cushions, and if you have a little step uh, or a box, um, anything like that, uh, have that handy too, because we'll use that at the end for um, some stretches. Right, slide your shoes off if you haven't already, and let's settle into things. So go ahead and slide back into your chair, relax your feet out in front of you. Heavy your spine into your chair and then close your eyes down. You can rest your palms to face up on your lap and immediately draw your awareness to your breath. Let's open our class with three cycles of breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And again, a deep breath in and a long breath out. One more, inhale and an exhale. If that feels really nourishing to you, those deep, slow, steady breaths, then continue to breathe exactly as you are. Or you can choose to release control of your breath and instead let your awareness start to draw down to your physical body, taking time to progressively relax through your body especially the areas that you know you hold tension and tightness in. Perhaps around your face, your jaw, shoulders. Maybe even around the fronts of your hips. Take time to consciously soften these areas. Until you feel yourself starting to fully arrive here into this space, into this moment, ready to move through a class that will take really good care of your physical body and in turn your mind, your heart, your energy levels. Continue to use your breath as a way to encourage and facilitate this relaxation through your body. As you breathe, just pausing and reflecting on the fact that our breath is always present for us, always there as a refuge. Regardless of our internal environment, our thoughts, emotions, expectations, perceptions, our breath is always with us like a faithful friend. And in turn, when our external environment feels chaotic and frantic and busy, we always have our breath to turn to as a way to calm and quiet and find ease within ourselves. So this breath meditation uh, that we will do together now is actually a poem written by Thich Nhat Hanh. And how it works is you continue to breathe <laughs> and breathe in and out. And as we breathe together, I will repeat lines from this poem, whole sentences to begin with and then single words after that. You can use these words as a way to fully anchor your attention and your awareness on your breath, steady you in this meditation. So wherever you are in your breath cycle, let's exhale out together now. 
Inhale to begin. Breathing in, I know that I am breathing in. Exhale out. Breathing out, I know that I am breathing out. Breathing in, I know that I am breathing in. Keep your breath flowing. Breathing out, I know that I am breathing out. In and out. In and out. Breathing in, I notice that my in-breath is deep. And breathing out, I notice that my out-breath goes slowly. Breathing in, I know that my in-breath is deep. And breathing out, I notice that my out-breath goes slowly. Deep and slow. Deep and slow. Breathing in, I calm my whole body. Breathing out, I feel at ease. Breathing in, I calm my whole body. Breathing out, I feel at ease. Calm and ease. Calm and ease. Breathing in, I am aware that I am dwelling in the present moment. Breathing out, I know this moment is precious. Breathing in, I am aware that I am dwelling in the present moment. Breathing out, I know this moment is precious. Present moment. Precious moment. Present moment. Precious moment. Breathing in, I know that I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know that I am breathing out. In and out. In and out. release any control of your breath now but know that you can come back to those words any time throughout our class today as a way to occupy your mind with the mantra of the word and align yourself with your breath so whether it be in and out as you inhale and exhale deep and slow calm and ease or present moment and precious moment. Know that you can always return to those words. Turn your palms to face down on your lap now and start to slide your feet back and forth on the floor. Starting slowly to begin, noticing how the undersurface of your feet feel as you slide them back and forth on the floor, stimulating, waking up, all of the little nerves on the sole of your feet, and the tendons, the muscles, the fascia. Waking this up, bringing fresh circulation to this part of our body, which serves us so greatly. Our feet carry us through the world, We're giving them a little bit of love and attention back. 
As you're ready, you can link your eyes open and keep that sliding back and forth with your feet going. Noticing how they feel. Maybe speeding it up. Creating this sense of energy, warmth, vitality on the underside of your feet. Enjoying this movement back and forth for three more rounds of breath. Last deep breath in and long breath out. Stop, there, stop your feet sliding back and forth on the floor. Just notice how they feel. There's an increased awareness, sensation on the underside of your feet, a tingling of energy, warmth, whatever it may be. Just pausing and noticing that, noticing how quickly we can affect change in our body through slow, steady breaths, through simple movements. Pick your right leg up, circle your right ankle around. Point and flex out through that right foot, rubbing the underside of your calf here as you do so. Take it over to the other side, extend your left leg up, circle around. Back in the other direction. And then point and flex a foot, point and flex, point and flex. Noticing how you feel in your ankle joints, lifting both legs up, taking some freestyle movement of the feet in and out, circles, whatever it would, would feel good to you. And then float your legs down, slide yourself forward to the front of your chair and scoop both hands underneath your right thigh, pick your right knee up, stay nice and lifted through your upper body, shoulders down, heart right. Start to kick your lower leg back and forth. Starting to increase the speed of this gentle kick back and forth, back and forth. Almost letting momentum start to take over here. Warming up now through the knee joint. Taking some little circles around one way and the other way with your lower leg. And then floating that right foot down, roll onto the outer edge of your right foot and open and close your right knee. Open and close. That's the way. Starting to warm up now through your right hip joint. All of these movements taking time to mobilize each of the joints in the lower leg. Brings increased circulation to that area. Increased synovial fluid coating the joint, lubricating the joints. Two more in and out. Keep that breath flowing. And then taking your hands and cupping your hands, we're going to pitter patter up and down the length of the right leg, starting at your right hip crease. Encouraging, encouraging you here to make as much noise as you can. Up and down the leg, inside, outside of the leg, pitter pattering. while keeping that breath deep and full. Turning your hands now into two loose fists, pitter pattering up and down your right thigh, inside and outside of the thigh, underside. And then finding stillness, let's close our eyes down and just notice how we feel right side compared to left.
as you're ready, blink your eyes open once again. Let's do all of that on the left side, creating that same increased sensation and awareness of the whole length of the left leg that I hope you're experiencing now through your right leg. So start by kicking your left lower leg back and forth, bending and extending through your knee joint. does not need to be a full extension, whatever feels comfortable in your body, starting slow, increasing the range of movement. All the while, keep that chest lifted. If it's too much to be holding the underside of your thigh, you may instead just want to extend and bend your left leg, keeping the thigh grounded on your chair. Okay, so whatever works for you. Taking some circles around with your lower leg, one way and the other way. And then placing your left foot down on the floor. Roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. Let's open and close through that left knee or through your left hip, I should say, but leading with your left knee to open and close here. Deep full breaths all the way through. Drawing your left foot flat onto the floor once again, cupping through both of your hands. Let's wake up through our left leg, pattering up and down the foot. And again, make as much noise as you can here. If you feel like focusing at the top of your left hip might feel particularly um, soothing and encouraging here of the left hip muscles to relax then please go ahead and do that out of five all the way down to your lower leg turning the hands into two fists pitter pattering up and down the left thigh loose wrists as you do this waking that left leg up And giving your left knee joint a rub, right knee joint a rub. Great everyone, sit up nice and tall. Relax through your upper body again. Now paying attention to the difference between the lower half of your body and the upper half of your body. How do they feel? Take your hands now to the underside of your right thigh or to the front of your right knee. Interlace your hands and pull your right knee up into your chest. We're going to stay here for three rounds of breath, compressing through our right hip joint, the right hip crease. And stretching the underside of your right leg. One more breath in. And a breath out. Extend your right leg long out in front of you, heel down, toes up. Take two hands to your left leg. Inhale to extend your chest up. As, as you exhale, fold yourself forward and all the way down, feeling that stretch at the back of your right leg. One more full breath in. And out. Rise yourself all the way up. Slide your left toes beneath you and come to rest on uh, your right toes beneath you, I should say. Come to rest on the top of your right foot. Just let your right knee hang heavy, stretching now the front of your right foot. And just pausing here, keep that chest lifted, your breath deep and full. All of your attention and your awareness, your mind's eye anchored all the way down into your right foot now. And then free your right foot. Let's take that on the left side in reverse. So start by placing the top of your left foot down on the floor beneath your chair. Maybe your left knee moves a little closer to the floor. 
stretching the top of your left ankle, the top of your left foot. Bring your left foot here, slide your left heel out in front of you, pull your toes back, two hands to the right thigh, lift your chest up, breathe in, bow forward and down as you breathe out. Pausing here for an inhale and an exhale. Rising back up, slide your left foot in, either hold on to the underside of your left hip or the front of your left knee. Pull your knee into your chest, sit up nice and tall. If you need to lean back in your chair here, absolutely fine. Lean back, support through your back. It's all about compressing and squeezing into that left hip joint. And once we release the compression, again, just allowing fresh blood to move to the joint, fresh circulation, and then float your left leg down. Rolling onto the outer edge of both feet now, widening the knees, draw your knees together. Inhale and widen, exhale, draw them back in. Twice more, breath in, breath out. Inhale, and an exhale. Great, everyone. Then we're going to give ourselves a little massage. Taking your thumbs to the insides of your thighs, four fingers to the outside. I want you to imagine you're lifting up the muscle belly and then releasing. Lifting up, squeezing in and releasing. So just seeing how that feels, massaging up and down your thigh muscles. If you find an area that really feels as if it needs more attention, please stay here. As you come towards the hip crease, maybe you move out um, a little bit, so you're really picking up the muscle belly there. Or maybe you use your thumbs to a massage release through the inner seam of the thighs with some gentle pressure. And then coming to the underside of your thighs, again, that almost picking up of the muscle belly, squeezing your four fingers in, releasing through this area. Wonderful everyone. Great, so hopefully feeling a little more enlivened and awake through your legs now. Let's introduce some core into, um, into it all. Uh, you can, option one here is to hold underneath the right thigh with both hands. Option two would be extending your left hand out to the side. Option three, which invites a lot of core into the picture, is extending both hands out. And then we're taking some hip circles with the right leg, big sweeping circles. You can do this in standing as well as about and make it a bit of a balance challenge, holding onto the back of your chair. Circle your right hip joint around. Let's take two more circles. So moving our hip joint in different directions and then changing, going in the opposite direction, circling in is really important. So often uh, we only move in the forward backward plane with the hip joint, but our hip can do all sorts of things. And keeping this ability to move the hip joint. Let's come over to the left side in all different directions. Remember, two hands can be under, one or no hands. Um, is important for things like getting in and out of your car, um, stepping around when you're in the kitchen, uh, doing different things, turning suddenly. So it's important to keep that flexibility in the hip joint um, in all different directions. Rotation as well as flexion and extension and opening out to the side, which is called abduction, away from the midline, adduction back into the midline. Change directions with your left hip if you haven't already. And then find your breath amongst all of that. Sometimes that can be the hardest part. Place your left foot down. Once again, take your thumbs to your hip crease. Just give them a little massage out. All right. 
sitting up nice and tall. Last little bit of core work and a strong core supports a strong lower half of our body. Take your right hand um, out to the right side. Your left leg lifts up. This will be our breath in. As you breathe out, return hand and foot. Over to the other side. Lift your right leg out in front of you. Left arm out to the left side. Inhale and exhale. Keep going just like this. If you find yourself slumping as you do this, maybe you cut an arm out or a leg out. So maybe you just do the legs or you just do your arms or you find a way to support yourself taking just the heel out in front rather than lifting up. Okay, so keep going. Inhale, lifting opposite arm and leg. Exhale to return. Inhale. And exhale. Breath in. Breath out. One more on each side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Great, everyone. Let's arc our right foot all the way around to the right side. Roll up onto your right heel. Pull your right toes towards you and squeeze your right kneecap up. And then reach your right arm long overhead towards the left side of your space. Bring your left hand up and catch a hold of your right wrist with your left thumb and index finger. As you breathe in, create length through both sides of your body. And on the breath out, a little tip over to your left. Stay here as you inhale. And for your exhale. Rise back up. Free your hands. Slide your right foot in. Let's walk both heels out so the heels are out and the toes are in. Take your hands to your inner knees. Find length through the sidelines of your body. Big breath in. As you breathe out, press your knees back slightly and bow your chest forward and down. Great, everyone. Draw yourself back up. Bring the right foot slightly in, extend your left leg out to the left side, heel down, toes up, squeeze that left kneecap up. Reach your left hand up and over to your right side and catch a hold of your left wrist with your right thumb and index finger. Big breath in, find that length. As you breathe out, tip over to your right side. Pause here, send your gaze to the sky for one more inhale. And an exhale. Arise all the way back up. Free the hands. Slide your left foot in. Find that goddess stance with your legs again. So heels are in, toes are out. And we'll come back to our rotation one last time with the hips. So dip your left knee in. Keep your spine long. And then lift all the way up. Dip your right knee in. Lift all the way back up to your left, adding a bit of a twist through your um, upper body now, and back up to your right, and back up, one more to each side, closer together and take some circles with the whole torso Sufi circles keep your hands to the fronts of your knees as you breathe in draw your chest forward on the breath out circle back and around inhale forward exhale back and around one more time breath in and a breath out in the other direction. Inhale to draw you forward. Exhale back and around. Inhale forward. Exhale around. Inhale forward. Exhale. 
exhale around. Sit up nice and tall. Keep your legs as they are, bring your hands out in front of you, connecting your palms and connecting your elbows. As you next inhale, open your arms wide, press your chest forward. On the exhale, return your hands and forearms and elbows together. Inhale and open up. Exhale and return. One more, just like this, big breath in. And a long breath out. Bring your hands to a prayer in front of your heart, heel toe your feet directly beneath your knees, hip width distance apart once again. Pause here, option to close your eyes, tuning in to the sensations moving through your body, different areas that feel alive and awake. Flutter your eyes open, let's take a sip of water before we move into our sun salutation. you're ready, find your nice tall seat once again, prayer in front of your heart. Breathe in, reach your prayer up to the sky. As you breathe out, bow forward and all the way down. Your hands just below your knees, press into your hands, lengthen your spine up halfway, inhale. Exhale, bow down to release. Heavy your torso over your legs. Sweep your arms now wide and high as you breathe in. On the breath out, draw your elbows towards one another, forearms together, hands in prayer. Elbows are in, the, in line with your shoulders here. Breathe in, open the arms wide, step your right foot out to the right side. As you breathe out, arms come together, right foot steps in. Imagine you're stepping over something. Inhale, step your left leg out to the side, broaden your chest. As you exhale, arms together, foot in. One more to each side, breath in. Breath out. Inhale. And exhale. Glide prayer back to your heart. Reach up to the sky, full inhale. Draw your prayer to the earth as you exhale. Halfway lift, breathing in. Bow forward and down as you breathe out. Heavy your body over your legs. Press into your feet, reach those arms wide and high. Full inhale, lift and look up. As you exhale, draw your elbows down to the height of your shoulders, glue your forearms together. Breathing in, open the arms wide, left leg out to the left side. As you breathe out, left foot in, arms together. Inhale, right leg out to the right side, open your arms wide. Draw everything back in as you exhale. Once more to each side, breath in and out. In, out. Spread to your heart at the end of that exhale. One last time through our sun salutes. Breathe in, lift up. Breathe out, bow forward and down. Hands below your knees, halfway lift, full inhale. Exhale and bow forward and down. Reach those arms wide and high, full inhale, find your prayer. Draw elbows together and down to the height of your shoulders as you exhale. Inhale, open your right leg out, open your arms out, chest is bright. As you exhale, everything returns. Open to the left side, arms wide, breath in. Return as you breathe out. One more to each side. prayer to your heart and hands all the way down to your knees. Take time to roll your shoulders out. 
felt that warmth and activity through the shoulder joint doing that exercise. So let's stretch it out. Reach your right hand out in front of you and then cross your right hand over your body towards your left shoulder. Take your left hand to the outside of your right elbow and gently press back. Pause here as you breathe in. And on the breath out. Bring your right hand down, give it a little shake out, some circles. With your left hand, reach out, cross your body. Right hand behind your left elbow, press back. circle, a little shake out, whatever it needs. Let's come into our first um, shape of our next sequence. It'll be a neutral hip shape. So I'll show you in, seat, in a seated position and in standing. We're going to pick up that right knee. Take your left hand and hold your right knee in towards your chest. And then reach your right hand all the way back behind you, either holding onto the back of your chair or extend your right arm out long for a stretch across the front of your chest and the whole length of your spine. If you're taking this standing, have your chair on your left side. Pick up your right knee. Open your right arm out to the right side. If you need the stability of your hand, keep it on your chair. If you feel comfortable to try and challenge your balance here, Left hand comes to the front or the outside of your right knee. Hug it in towards your chest. Press down firmly into your left leg. Everyone, whether you're seated or standing. And let's all join in for one more breath in. And a breath out. Return yourself back to centre. Float your right leg down. Walk the hips out if you're standing. Wave your knees from side to side if you're seated. Let's take that on the opposite side. So standing friends, just make sure the chair is around on your right side now. Let's all pick up through the left knee, holding on to the left knee with your right hand, and then open your left arm all the way around to the back of your space, or hold on to the back of the chair if you're seated. Find length as you breathe in. At the same time as you're lengthening through your torso, press into your right foot for stability. Enjoy one more inhale here. And a slow, steady exhale. All the way back to centre. Float your left foot down. Walk the hips out if you're standing. Windscreen might be your knees side to side if you're seated. Take a big stretch for our inner thighs. If you're seated, extend both legs out wide, heels down, toes up. And bring the back of your second chair in front of you. Inch your second chair forward any amount, as much as you need to. And then bow your chest forward and down over your second chair, stretching through your inner thighs. A rounding through your spine is absolutely fine here. If you'd like to take this standing, Widen the legs out to both sides, your feet are parallel. Press your hips back, rest your forearms down on your chair, and let your chest sway down. If this isn't quite getting into your inner thighs in a standing position, you can turn it into goddess legs, bending your knees and encouraging your heels in and your toes out, all the while sinking your hips back. Everyone, let's pause for another breath in. A breath out. And slowly press yourself back up wherever you are. Heel toe to feet together. Seated or standing. Wash your knees side to side or walk your hips out. Great everyone. Let's have another sip of water. Pausing here. Right. 
Moving on to our next shape, we'll open out across the fronts of the hips. We've done a lot of work for inner thighs all around the hip joints and the, the legs and the back of the legs. Let's open up across the front of our hips with a lunge. So if you're seated, turn yourself to the right, support the underside of your right thigh with the chair and make sure your right toes are pointing to the right side. Draw both hips to turn now to the right side. And with your left leg, you can slide those toes back any amount. Okay, we're looking for a stretch at the front of your left hip here. If it's leading to any uh, compression in your low back, just come out of it slightly and you'll still be able to access the stretch at the front of your left hip by leaning back. Okay, just don't want any compression through your low back. So finding that place of sensation. Standing friends, you are in the same position in a lunge position, right foot forward, left leg back. Um, an option here to have your left heel lifted for an extra balance challenge or seal it down for a little bit of stability. Let's bring our arms back up in front of us, elbows in line with the shoulders, hands in prayer in front of the heart. And then begin to lean your body up and back, up and back. Moving slowly, pause here for one more breath in and a breath out. Draw yourself back to center and then open the arms wide. Big breath in to press your chest forward and then draw the hands together as you breathe out. Put your hands all the way down, slide your weight onto your right hip so you can draw your left toes forward towards the right side of the space and we'll come back into one more stretch for the back of your left leg. Two hands to your right thigh to begin, breathe in, lift the heart. As you breathe out, bow yourself forward and down, option to take your left hand and reach towards your left toes. If you're taking this in standing, a little bend into your right knee, reach the left heel out in front straight and then just bow yourself down over the back of your chair. Breathe everyone, rise all the way up, turn yourself back to centre wherever you are, walk the hips out, wash your knees from side to side and let's take that lunge on the opposite side so I'll um, for it in standing. This time around, if you are taking it in seated, set yourself up exactly as you did for the right, hand, uh, right side. This time the left foot is forward for standing friends. Right leg is back and you can stay up on the right toes. That will access quite a deep stretch here, but if it makes you feel unsteady, seal the right heel down. No worries at all, especially because we're adding that back bend in. So set up your legs. Find your arms in front of you, hands in prayer, elbows connected in line with your shoulders. If this feels too um, unsteady, if you're standing, try just with one hand. Begin to lean up and back, up and back, up and back, everyone. Pause here for a breath in and a breath out. Draw yourself back to centre. As you next inhale, let's open the heart. Exhale, two hands, forearms and elbows together. Put your hands down to the back of the chair. Step yourself forward. Walk those hips out for a moment and then slide your right heel forward. Bend into your left knee if you're standing, press your hips back as you bow your chest forward. And if you're taking this one seated, you're still facing the left side of your space. Your right leg is just swung forward to join the left, bowing forward and down this way. Hands can come down towards the right toes. yourself back up wherever you are. Turn back to centre. 
walk those hips out, wash your knees side to side, and then let's all come back to our seats. Now is the time to find your cushions and that little step or box or stack of books, um, shoe box, whatever it is that you found to prop your feet up on. Take some pillows to the base of your second chair. And set your box between your two chairs. And step your feet up onto your box. Roll onto the outer edges of your feet. So creating a diamond shape with the legs. If you want to make it a touch more relaxed, and set your step or box a little further away from you for a more intense stretch, draw it closer to you. And then find a setup with your second chair and your pillows where you can bow your body forward. Melt into the support of your pillows all the while maybe shimmying your hips slightly back to deepen this stretch of the outer hips and the inner thighs. Keep pressing your feet together. Rest your hands on your forearms, or your head on your forearms, I should say. Or rest down into your pillows. You can even play around with tucking the pillows right underneath your chest and settling in this way. Whatever feels good for you. And we'll hold this position for a Around about a minute, a minute and a half. So settle yourself in. Find your breath. And as you breathe, the offering right here to come back to that meditation that we opened our class with. Using some of those key words to keep your mind still and grounded, anchored and aware. Either in and out. Slow, deep. Calm, ease, precious moment, present moment. Really focus on your breath and drawing your breath to your upper back. feels right, maybe the words just fade now, turning into more of an echo through your being rather than a focal point. Your breath be slow and steady. starting to deepen your breath as you begin to emerge from this shape. Slowly press yourself up, give your upper body a little twist, press your feet down onto your step, your knees are washed from side to side. And then arrange your pillows in a way that will support you through our final little seated rest. Extend your legs up onto your second chair. Have a pillow to support your lumbar spine on your first chair. Settle yourself back. Come back to your breath. Close those eyes down. And immediately arrive into this place of rest. Nothing else to be done, nowhere else to be in this particular moment but resting. Taking good care of yourself, your body.
child's over. If you're ready, bring some gentle movement to your hands and in circles. Turn your hands down on your thighs. Move through your shoulders, wiggle fingers and toes. Lift yourself up, blink your eyes open. Start to ease your legs off the support of your second chin. Space slowly and mindfully. Thank you everyone for joining me for another Relax and Reset class this week. I hope your legs, lower half of your body, is, is feeling all the better for it. Um, please don't forget to give this class a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and um, tune in to all of our classes. We have daily classes um, here on YouTube and pass on the word about powerful Parkinson's. We, uh, we so appreciate um, the support that you all give us and, and how you help us grow awareness uh, of our organization. So have a great week and I look forward to seeing you next time.